I'm Michael Lamore. I'm 21 years old. I live in Meadow Vista, California, and I have a physical handicap known as arthropsis. In the arms of an angel. <laughs> Arthrogryposis multiplex congenita. That's the full name, which is Greek for hooked joints with multiple contractures. This disability is genetic. I was born with it. And one of my three sisters, Jenna, has it also. In the family, I'm definitely worse off than my sister, but compared to the 200,000 Americans that have ever been born with it, I'd say that I'm a lot better off. I'm stuck in flexion instead of extension. Some people who have the disability are. I can't stretch my arms out all the way. Some people, they're stuck with their arms stretched out all the way. Most of the time, people are really nice. They kind of come up to me and they ask me nicely, and I appreciate that a ton if they do. Hey, I just noticed that you look a little bit different. Oh yeah, thanks for asking. I have a disability called arthropsis, and you explain, and they're like, oh, that's why. It's just kind of a nice conversation. Eight, nine, ten-year-olds, they don't have that sort of social prowess that most people have, and they'll just ask you flat or say weird things like, your shoulders look weird, or he looks, why do you walk like that? There was this one guy, I had just got, came back from Home Depot, and this big black guy rides by with like three chicks in the back. He rolls down the window and he's like, Yo, kid, if you hike your shoulders up anymore, you're gonna lose your neck. I was just like, I have a disability. <laughs> and he's like, oh, and then he just drove off kind of awkward. I didn't even like notice until I got to maybe eight or nine that I was any different from anybody else because I never saw it. When I look in the mirror, I just see my front, which is pretty normal looking. I just kind of thought I was a normal person because it's my own you know, vision of reality. I don't like stare in the mirror for 10 hours or, and I felt kind of fine. <laughs> but then when I got older, after you get out of that you cooties phase, where I, I thought, oh man, maybe I, this limits my options for like who I'm gonna marry in certain ways. My fascination with the guitar, just sort of visually as an instrument, I started when I was playing nylon string classical music. A lady made me read sheet music, which I hated. 13, my mom got me an electric guitar, and I started playing chords on that. And once I got into high school, I kind of realized that the one thing that I was better at than everything else was music, and that was what I was the most interested in as well. So I started, you know, not doing a lot of my homework and kind of <laughs> just working on music because I decided that that's what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. My favorite genres to play would be blues and jazz and pop and Disney music. And I really like John Mayer. He's probably one of my main inspirations. <laughs> helped me go to Musicians Institute down in Hollywood. I got a Associate of Arts degree in guitar performance. I realized that I definitely wasn't going to be performing on stage as a career. I thought that I'd do more teaching. And that's why I built DeMore Guitar Studios as soon as I came home. Right now with the exposure that other people have to different teaching methods, teaching in your own studio isn't financially stable. So I decided to go back to school at American River College for biomedical engineering. Positive thinking with effort increases the probabilities of success. There are certain things that people just won't be able to do, but they can do a lot more than they probably even think that they can. What we can do is usually a lot greater than what we think we can do, but uh, you have to put the effort in for sure. <laughs>